name is Pete. And my name is Mick. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? Yeah, if I knew you were going to do that, we would have, we could have tried a harmony. Exactly. Yeah, anyway, right. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Acoustic Guitar Tower Speaker Thing Paradiso. Yeah. Uh, Laney Audio Hub Freestyle 4x4. Freestyle. 4x4, which is not, in fact, a car nope. that you drive off-road. Well, it is also a car you drive off-road, but not from Laney. Yeah, and so uh, to some people this might be slightly surprising, but Laney's been doing various things with kind of what you might think of as more audio gear rather than guitar or you know amp-type gear, audio yeah. gear, for a little while now um, with various of its products. Um, and this, I walked in this morning... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> saw it on the floor and went, what's that? That's cool. Yeah. And uh, and then proceeded to get the story. Yeah. So, so what is it then? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> it is a, it's called 4x4 because yeah. it's uh, 4 by 4 inch speakers, line array, battery powered, Yeah. mini PA thing. Yeah, with... Should we turn it around? Yeah, let's let's do the interesting yeah. bit. So let's uh, turn it off. Yeah. So now it's running purely on the battery at the moment. Yeah, purely on the battery. So yeah. uh, I'll try and keep this still so we can get the camera up and down it. <laughs> if we start up here, right. So what you can see is two um, XLR TRS inputs, which means you can put an XLR or jack in there, and you can have selectable line or um, mic level. The mic level's higher, uh, and you've got individual level control there and a button there to turn on and off the inbuilt effects, which we'll come on to in a minute. There's two more channels, um, two stereo channels in fact, one with stereo jack ins uh, and one with uh, a mini jack in, which we could demonstrate now, Pierre, if yes, you like. But you've got, you've also got the uh, the blue of tooth. Yes, so if you can keep this in your brain, uh, I'm gonna turn it around, turn it on. Yeah, I'm now gonna take my phone here and I'm going to... As you can see, it weighs not very much. Weighs not very much. I could balance it on my head. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> so it's, it's literally, it's very easy to carry. And if you, if you zoom in on here, I'm now going to connect via the, uh, the Bluetooth we need to turn on. So we turn the Bluetooth on there. Hello, hello. And then I am now connected to uh, the Laney Audio Hub 4x4, and I'm now going to pop into my Apple Music. And that's how easy it was. And, uh, and that's how easy it was. So you, I turned it on, I turned my Bluetooth on here, and I'm going to play Mick's absolute favourite song, which, which is coming here. Right, that's enough of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's enough of that. Robbie, Robbie Neville, c'est la vie. So eh? what, what we haven't done, there's no, there's no line out. We're literally, you're, you're hearing this through our lapel mics and also through a couple of mics we've got in the room. So don't, if, if, if what you're hearing isn't like beautifully full direct yeah. audio, it's, we haven't got it plugged in that no. way. Because all you'd, all you'd be hearing there is whatever's coming in and what's going out. This would kind of be yeah, redundant would, yeah, in all yeah, of exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. So it's, yeah. So what I did there is I switched through. So one of one of the features um, that uh, the Freestyle 4x4 has is it's got four preset EQ positions. Now, um, happily, they've got little diagrams to show you what's going on. Flat is flat, as you would imagine. Um, bass just increases the bottom end a little bit, uh, which you heard there. Loud does the old V-scoop thing, which is sort of like a radio EQ. Uh, and vocal pushes the mid-range. Um, which might be good for vocals, might be good for any acoustic instrument or indeed vocals. So, uh, effects. Yeah. Let's have a quick chat about the effects, shall we, Pierre? Yeah. Plug in your... My, uh, this is actually my Martin OM28V with the love. So, um, what we've got, we've got uh, two effects. Yeah. One delay, one reverb. So I will start it without any effects. Okay, and, and this is what you get. Are we on? <laughs> hey. The Bluetooth was still on, so yeah. let's turn the Bluetooth off. Oh, you turned it off, but it was still on. Let's turn it down. Uh, where is it? There, I've turned the wrong one off. 
Okay. There right, we go. Fine. Down. down there we, we go. go. Okay. We're, so we're right. So go on, then, Pierre. Delay, yeah. Sounds a bit like an analog sort of yeah, delay, yeah. doesn't it? So as you can hear, it's just got a very easily easy to use selection of reverb and delay, and the more you turn the knob, the more effect you get. So the delay time gets longer, or the other way, the reverb gets uh, deeper, if you like. Now, you might be thinking, well, I want a bit more control over my effects than that, but let's just reiterate that this is a tiny carry around. Yeah. I mean, the first thing that you would have in mind is busking. Yeah. But uh, you could um... do a bar gig with that. There's a pop next door. Mm. Mm. What time is it? I think they're open now, aren't they? So, what's that? That's the Drummond that's down on um, oh yeah, Woodbridge Road. Woodbridge Road. Next Got to Anderson's. Garden, next to Anderson's. You know what? Shall you we know see? What? Shall we see what this thing actually... So we just, you know, leave it like it is and just see what happens? Okay. You up for that? Yeah. Okay. Do it.
I'm just gonna shake Shake it all, shake it all Heartbreak is gonna break And the fake is gonna fake I'm just gonna shake Shake it off, shake it off
Okay. <laughs> well, you, how do you think that got, went then? That was good. There was a few surprise punters in there. The uh, the the manager landlord was was very uh, accommodating. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Said he wouldn't mind us upsetting his customers. Nobody really. clapped though. That was a bit. Of, that was a bit. Um... Somebody put some money in the case though, which was a. They right. did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go out and have a few uh, few drinks. Let's see if my coffee's still warm. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit cold now, but that's all right though. Uh, but my God, it's warm outside today. It's it's one of the warmest days ever. That was really hot, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. it was. Okay, so what we did basically was we just, as you saw, we went in there. We plugged it in, one microphone. He was singing so beautifully. It's amazing. Uh, we'll be on Anderson Sessions uh, very soon as well. <laughs> <laughs> the likes. Hello. What did we learn? What, yeah. did we learn? what did we learn? Okay, I'll tell you what I learned. So with the available inputs, uh, we can have microphone, no problem. Yeah. We put Pete's guitar into the second XLR yes. input so yeah. that he could have some reverb. But um, my guitar went into one of the other inputs, this one here, channel three and four. Yeah. Um, because, uh, and, and there's no reverb available on that one. So no. my guitar was dry, but yeah. that was okay. But that's like having a wet dry signal amp sort of thing. It was fine. Before, and and to be good. honest, if you were that worried about it, there's nothing stopping you getting a small mixer and just... Oh, just putting a reverb right. pedal in front of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, have a little... Let's, let's again, let's just reiterate that this isn't yeah. a full-blown PA. Exactly. So. It's, it's uh, I think they're about... You know, links people, I think about two ninety nine or something like that. Yeah, which so is bonkers, you know, with we, the battery and we used it on battery power. Yeah, and actually, it's probably just worth saying that um, it has two power modes. So yeah, um, as you can see here, it, in the normal mode, it's putting out what Laney says is thirty five watts, and I I think it's brave of them to publish that because. You're going to look at that and go, 35 watts, that'll never be loud enough. Yeah, but that was loud enough. It was loud enough. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, With honestly, the mic on two guitars as well. We were outside in a pub garden and everybody in that pub garden could hear us could, loud. Went, went, oh my God, what yeah. is this? Oh. <laughs> Do you know any Tina Turner? Yeah. Um, and uh, and it, was, it was absolutely loud enough. Yeah. No doubt about it. So absolutely. when thinking about watts, you know, this is, I would assume it's like a class D digital Probably, yeah, power amp, yeah. which means it's super efficient and, and it's really putting those 35 yeah. watts out. So yeah. anyway, in the, in the full mode, it, it does 35 watts and in the eco mode, it does 10 watts. Yeah. So um, if when your battery's running out, quite often hear buskers and they start sounding really distorted. Yeah. So then you just pop it down. You could, or you could probably put it down in five watts and play it all day long, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ten and ten also ten there's the sops out. You can you can you can put this on a stand if you want. So you can have it yeah. on the stand. We just had it on the bench there. You can link it out to sops or other or to other ones of these. You know, you can I think it's a really that great is cool. Thing, it's yeah. got um yeah, it's got a dedicated sub yeah. out which would pr presumably um you didn't need to check the spec, but it'll it'll take a frequency and everything below that it'll send yeah. to the sub. Um, as, and as Pete said, you know, you can link another one yeah. to it, so you could use two, and again... It weighs absolutely nothing, and you can get a gig bag, which you buy separately for it, which just, it just sits right in. Pole mount. Exactly, that's what I just, I just mentioned, yeah. um, or I did, I can't remember, but a, a, absolutely great little thing. I really like that. And it comes with a little power supply as well. Um, I'm not quite sure, because it's a new thing, we haven't, this is... Um, it's sort of an exclusive for us. We got to send. You could probably buy another battery to stick in there. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Uh, if you need a spare battery. Yeah. Um, absolutely great. I, I want them at home. You know what? I want two at home. You know what? If I I've got one of these Bose little Bose uh, Bluetooth speakers. Yeah. Those are about hundred and odd quid, aren't they? Yeah. Two hundred quid or whatever. Whoa. Yeah. We're just looking at a battery. It's probably a thing that you might have to get straight from them. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Gotcha. That was a classic. Uh, gotcha. That was a classic. <laughs> so Mick, we didn't see it by happening behind. We're taking the we're taking the cover off. We're taking the cover off for the battery. Mick, Mick is putting his his fat fingers in the in the battery, and I just went boom, and I he was, went. Aah! I was doing what you should always do, which is touch the wires. You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gotcha, man. Gotcha. Uh, anyway, so I so I yeah, bought this little I on. got this little Bose Bose speaker, and it's probably it was probably about 180 quid or something. Yeah. And you can't run any. Yeah, I can't sing on it. I can't do anything. It's a small little thing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. This is great, man. Absolutely great. Yeah, I'm impressed. I have to say, I'm impressed. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. I can't believe you freaked out like that. It was not even turned on or anything. <laughs> oh man. Great stuff, yeah, exactly. Right, there we go. There Laney we go. Audio Hub Freestyle 4x4 with um, added bonus 
impromptu gig footage. Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> and, yeah. and actually, just on on the subject of that, it was um, so the audio that you're hearing was recorded straight into like a a mic. It's that sits a road on the top of the camera, yeah. a Rode NTG2, and um, so it wasn't recorded beautifully. It, we didn't take a line out or anything. You, what you heard was what yeah. just what it was. Exactly that. There was no line out. It was literally putting this on the, you know, on the de on the thing on the table, on the table and yeah. then just playing. And what you heard was the camera. Yeah, that was it. Was the camera. Uh, and but I guess what we would add to that is, you know, if you've ever plugged an iPhone into a decently powerful Bluetooth speaker, um, that's the kind of audio. Yeah. You're getting. But Although I would have to that. say, that's I have to say. Good. There's not that massive excess of bass that you get with consumer focus. No, exactly. That's that's exactly like you know where it's kind of it's kind of bedroom design sound where you go yeah, no, okay, no. I have to have a bottom end, I have to have all these really high frequencies yeah. to to make your ears go. No, oh, that this was, sounds expensive. That was um, projecting. It was yeah. really impressive. Uh, fantastic. Well done, Laney. Yeah, nice one. Nice and, one. And um, and thank you all for watching. Uh, this was a really good episode. Yeah, I, like, I enjoyed doing that. Yeah. All we needed was an ice cold. Beverage. Uh, of, beverage, of some... beverage. How did we miss the beverage? I know. We didn't have that, didn't we? Well, it's half past five, mate. Yeah. So we go so we do it? I think so. Alright, let's do it. Uh, acoustic guitar parody, so audio hop freestyle four by four from Laney. Pete. Mick. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>